never insulted. I have never name called. But yet I can hear it, and I can hear the, quick, the little quips about myself and my husband. I've been nothing but the utmost respectful to every single one of you, whether I liked you or not. I've treated every single one of you with respect, and not a single person on this board can treat me with any respect. Censor my three minutes of minutes down to, oh, she's concerned about an incident. How about I'm concerned about a possible loot of mischievous conduct by a uniformed officer that not a single one of you has done a thing for? I'm concerned because I find out that an employee slips on a live 556 five, round bullet. It took with three hours for campus safety to respond to that call. That's right. God forbid that bullet was up there in the brand new theater of Hospicitas College. God forbid somebody was staking out that place. And it wasn't part of a possible training exercise that the Livermore Police Department was having. Okay. But no, it took three hours for campus safety to respond at Las Positas. Not Hayward. That, please. Thank you. Not Chabal. Thank you. You guys should all be ashamed of yourselves. Okay, your minute. It's going to wait until a girl gets raped. Your time is up. Thank yes, you. I know it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, next speaker, Greg Reese. My name is Greg Reese. I'm a tax-paying constituent from Area 3 and a senior uncompensated member of the classified staff. I am assigned to Chabot College with 29 and a half years of documented service. My immediate supervisor is Dr. Susan Sperling. Respectfully and for the good of our district, I report to you the following. It has been brought to my attention Mr. Fong has been and is currently lobbying for a renewal of his district contract. Sucking up and kissing rear ends to maintain his worthless employment as our HR administrator. I am here to, in person to inform you, Mr. Fong, and the Board of Trustees. You will not be reemployed here or within the California public schools or community college system ever again. Mr. Fong, you are guilty of violating constitutional law, discrimination, records destruction, collusion and corruption involving Hayward Police personnel assigned to Chabot College. Mr. Fong, you are guilty of employer-initiated workers' compensation insurance fraud, CalPERS fraud, perjury, and deceiving our staff and the public at large. Mr. Fong, pack your box and prepare to leave our district in June. Mr. Fong, you are not an asset. You, sir, are nothing more than a common criminal behind a fancy title. You are a liability Reeves, more suitable for Mr. a position Reeves, in the private sector. We can set off your mic, Mr. A Reeves. position where you where your unethical and unlawful skills will be most welcome. There exists one individual who stands lower than employment. Please shut off his mind. During the past year, my wife Sandy, Mr. Korea, and I have met off-site with Dr. Mitzman on four separate dates. We provided Dr. Mitzman with documented complaint and evidence of all illegal actions taken against me by Mr. Fong and our numerous chancellors. During those numerous meetings, Dr. Mitzman asked questions such as, how many money, how much money do we owe you? How many years of service do we need to reinstate your CalPERS? How much out-of-pocket expense do we need to reimburse you? And so on. Dr. Mitzman, your inquiries were specific and detailed. Dr. Mitzman, you confirmed on behalf of the Board of Trustees that no action has been approved to separate or terminate my employment. We gave you our trust, but you also lied and failed. Dr. Mitzman, your censorship, lies, empty promises, and violations of the law are coming back to lunch. Here and at the ballot box in 2020, your goose is already plucked and roasted, sir. All right, our next speaker, Elizabeth Zalas. Elizabeth? So Elizabeth is going to speak, but she's going to speak in her native tongue, Spanish, because she has a, a second language is English, and I have an interpreter that will interpret her message to you.
My name is Elizabeth Salas, and uh, I've been um, working here in Chabó and Las Positas College for 22 years. Oh, I'm sorry. He's been working here for 22 years. I've been working here for 22 years. Los últimos, um, en, en junio, el último mes que trabajé aquí. In June, the last month that I worked here. Yo pedí el transfer para Las Positas. I requested a transfer to Las Positas. Uh, porque estaba uh, teniendo problemas con esta persona. Uh, because I was having a problem with a person here. Y yo estaba um, estresándome bastante a tal grado que llegué al hospital y me diagnosticaron con ansiedad. Esta persona me rayó mi carro. This person scratched my car. Me nombraba nombres. Would call me names. Y la última accidente que, hice, que pasó aquí en, en Chabot College, eh, me lastimó mi brazo que ya estaba lastimado. Y no dije nada por no miedo, sino que yo quería que me transferieran a, mi, a las cositas. And I didn't say anything at the time, not because I was scared, but because I just wanted a transfer to Las Cositas. Pero cuál fue mi sorpresa que al mes lo cambiaron también ahí a Las Cositas. But to my surprise, within a month, that person was also transferred to Las Cositas. Y esta persona ya ha tenido un problema en Las Cositas, no recuerdo exactamente el año, y lo transferieron aquí a Chavo. And that person already I don't remember the year, but then he was transferred here to Shabot. And I don't know why this person has decided to do this. And I don't know why this person has decided to do this. And I don't know why this person has decided to do this. And I don't know why this person has decided to do this. Y no no más feelings, no nada más um, que han sentido eso, sino que también ha hecho cosas a ellos. If you can map that, please. So it's not just the feelings, but also he's also done things to them as well. Thank you. Y ya el, el distrito sabe, él sigue trabajando en las cositas. And that's just three minutes, please. Thank you. The district knows and he still continues to work on us. Y, y, y la última incidente que hizo es el día del Flex Day. Este, dijo que éramos una bunch de biches. Y eso, 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 eso me ofendió a mí como mujer. Sorry. We have three minutes. And thank you. Thank you for your presentation. So much for employee safety. Well, thank you. All right, next speaker, Gregory Correa. <coughs> Dismantling democracy, hindering people's comments. You're censorshiping us. You're taking our First Amendment rights away. Do you smell it? Do you smell the corruption in here? I smell it. It isn't going to go away. I really, since you are the new chancellor, and I'm excluding these presidents because I believe that they should have the power. I'd like you to do some business with me. As an SEIU rep, Alameda County Executive Board member, I'd like to meet with you on fair ground because I'd like to have two people get you submit their resignations. Wyman Fong, Ron Gerhardt. This is an insult. You cannot find the information for what I've asked for? Are you kidding me? It, you were late, by the way. Twelve days. Fong, you have caused nothing but toxicity 
in this campus. You have dirtied up so many people. Greg Reese, you owe him a million dollars. A million dollars you owe him. Jeff Nelson, you can't have that investigation, what you promised, because you know why? You can't face the truth. You cannot face the truth. Linda Wilson had eight hours before she got her surf and she was let go. What kind of person are you? You should submit, just, just be right. And then you got a lawyer coming to the, uh, to the negotiations. Don't let her do your dirty work because you're a dirty man. Like I said, I learned from the best. You keep on looking at the time, Miss Smith. Hey, you know what? We talked to you many times. You ate so many taco chips that we couldn't even talk ourselves. You were eating all this, all the meetings that we had with you. Come on, let's be truthful here. You know, because the truth will set you free. So let's get back to this. I work in a hostile work environment. I have got, I slipped on a bullet. Okay, you understand that? I can't even get my incident report. They say I need a subpoena. Now I have to seek legal. I have to seek legal for my injuries. You understand? And I can't get my incident report? It was a military bullet. Yes, I can't, I can't get it. And the reason for it is, is because if he can't do it and the guy in back of me can't do it, what are they getting paid for? Are you serious? I'm a taxpayer. So, I, I, like I told you earlier, I want these two people to resign. Maybe we could talk one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe I could bring Greg Reese, Jeff Nelson, Linda Wilson, Elizabeth Salas. I could, if I could have more people in here, you'll understand the reason why there's not more people from, from classified coming in here, because they're afraid of retaliation. That's how it works. That's how it works right here. Because it's corrupt. Totally corrupt. It smells like, if you say hit and put an S on it, you know what I'm talking about. It stinks. And rest assured, people, I am living proof of what he just said. Retaliation. All right. We're just speaker. doing my job. Patricia Albino. Familiar is a Spanish-speaking conference for families that have uh, children with disabilities. And for the, over the um, last 20 years, we've been holding that conference here at Chabon College. And I'm just here tonight to say thank you for all your support. Um, I know that you guys always sponsor us, and I just want to say a big thank you um, for partnering with us. Um, this conference means so much to a lot of the families that we support as they don't have many resources in their own language and so we are able to um, do this for them every year and I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I have a couple programs if you guys would like to share and a little um, certificate. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, our next speaker, Arnold Pupich. Natural name Arnold. Uh, Peg? Peggio. Peggio. Sorry if I missed it there, Arnold. We all love you. Well, I guess I'm done then. <laughs> just, just a real quick wanted to bring your attention to the uh, flyer on, in front of you and to invite the board and the members of the audience to our upcoming uh, veterans fundraiser. Just a little get together post Veterans Day to celebrate our veterans and something to honor them. Um, a little family fun. We are trying to get a beer garden together also. Don't quite have all of that, but that will be Friday, November 16th here in the cafeteria from 5 to 8, and um, we hope to see you all there. Bouncy house. <laughs> we play all the secrets. You know, we haven't even invited Todd yet. I'm looking here for Todd to see if I'm in trouble. But um, yeah, we definitely want to see you there to support the veterans and to build community and um, hopefully raise a little bit of money for veteran scholarships also. So thank you as always for your support, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Arnold. All right, and our final speaker is Michael Lai. Michael. Okay, hi everyone. How's everybody doing? Uh, so my name is Michael. I'm a counselor here at Chabot College. And about two years ago, I came by with a few colleagues to introduce a program, that, uh, a group that we're introducing on campus focused on the Asian Pacific Islander experience. And we call this group the Asian Pacific Islander Education Association, or APIA. 
And since then, we've had a number of events and programs, and I see a lot of familiar faces, and we really appreciate your support throughout. But um, more importantly than our events, um, what we have seen lately is a growing Asian Pacific Islander student voice. Uh, we went from having zero student clubs with an API uh, student focus to six active student clubs. Um, and about two years ago, I also reported that compared to other groups, Asian students were least likely to encourage others to attend Chabot College and also least likely to say they felt welcome at Chabot College, both at only 66%. In the most recent student satisfaction survey, Asian students who report feeling welcome at Chabot College increased by 11% to 77%, and Asian students who would encourage others to attend Chabot College went from 66% to 76%, which is a 10% increase too. So there's a lot of work uh, that still needs to be done, but we're really proud of this shift. Um, there are a lot of factors that contribute to this shift, but I'm just going to highlight one of our biggest supporters today. Vice Chancellor uh, Wyman Fong has been one of our biggest supporters from day one. So he's made endless personal contributions to APIA student and staff events and programs. He has been a supporter of our group and the professional development of Asian Pacific Islander faculty, classified professionals, administrators, and students throughout our district. He has individually mentored multiple staff members and students in the career advancement. The student he mentored uh, through the APIA mentorship program is actually on his way to completing his bachelor's degree right now at UC Berkeley. On a more personal note, he has mentored me in taking on various leadership roles. He, ex he has expanded my vision of what community building and alliance building can look like. Similar to how the API student experience on campus improved when they saw that our institution valued and recognized the API student experience, it is very meaningful to see an API um, uh, an Asian Pacific Islander like Vice Chancellor Fong in a leadership role openly advocating for the personal and professional development of API staff. In addition to supporting the a Asian Pacific Islander community, Vice Chancellor Wan Fong has been an ally to other organizations such as the Striving Black Brothers uh, Coalition, and I often feel alliance building across group is challenging, but also such an important thing to do. Now, I understand that there has already been some decisions made. As a representative of APIA, we wanted to ensure that the personal and professional contributions of Vice Chancellor Wyman Fong was not overlooked and did not go unrecognized by the board and our larger community. Thank you all for this time and opportunity to share, and I look forward to our continued work together. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. We have one more addition, and that's uh, Tammy Robinson. Tammy. Board of Trustees, President, Chancellor, Administration, Faculty, Staff, and our community here at Chabot. I'm happy to be here tonight. My name is Dr. Tammy Robinson. I serve as the Vice President of Instruction at Kenyatta College. But tonight, I'm here in my role as the President of the Western Region Council on Black American Affairs. This past week, um, October 4th, 2018, we always honor our own. And I think it's important, and I say this all the time, give me my flowers when I'm alive, when I can hug you and smell them right now. So our president's award nominee is Dr. Stacy Thompson. Dr. Stacy Thompson has been a part of the Western Region Council on Black American Affairs, and she's now on the National Council on Black American Affairs. She has been a part of it since 2009. And during that time, she has worked tirelessly to, whenever we have our conferences, Students are there in the front row, and you know, and they're in their center. But we listen to the student voices, and as you know, the, w the Western Region Council of Black American Affairs has been around for over 40 years. We're an organization that really uh, that works with social justice issues and trying to be sure that our African American students um, see other African Americans in positions of higher education. So uh, for that, uh, she also. Uh, Chabot actually has one of the newest chapters, the Chabot Los Pasitas, of the, um, of the region. And uh, it is the Black Education uh, Association. So, so that I don't run out of time, I'd like to read what the award states for her. In grateful appreciation for your superior leadership and dedication to liberate, strengthen, and educate in a lifetime of, and your lifetime commitment to excellence, and social justice for students, faculty, and staff. I would like at this moment for you all to just thank Dr. Stacy Thompson for the great 
thank you all so much for just giving me just a few minutes of your evening. Thank you, Dr. Thompson, for all your work. Thank you, all right. Congratulations, Dr. Thompson. Okay, this time I'd like to call on uh, Vice Chancellor Wyman Fong for a readout, if you would, sir. Sure, President. Government Code Section 54953C3 requires that before taking final action, the board must orally report a summary of the recommendation regarding the salary, salary schedules, or compensation paid in the form of fringe benefits of a local agency. Therefore, the following is being made tonight. Item 3.2, Management Personnel, pertains to final action by the board regarding the approval of the following contracts of employment. Denita C. Romero, fiscal agent and economic development manager, range 17, step 3, benefit packages per other administrators. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Appreciate that. Okay, uh, consent items, the next item on the agenda. Um, at this time, uh, consent items are non controversial uh, items that, that the board will will pass uh, if, if, unless there are any of them to, to be pulled. Do I have any consent items that we'd like pulled? Starting with our student trustees, do you see any? No? Over this side, no? This side over here? Do I have a second? I have a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. Consent items will be Okay, at this time we have a presentation. I'm going to ask uh, President Sterling if she would make that introduction, please. Thank you. Can you hear me? Um, so it's my great honor to introduce a, two esteemed colleagues, um, Dove Hassan and Linda Hassan, um, both of them professors in theater arts. And they are going to present um, something that I think I will let um, our thespian and uh, honored uh, colleague um, introduce to you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, good evening. My name is Dove Hassan. I guess I should do this. Good evening. My name is Dove Hassan. I'm lead faculty for the theater arts program at Chabot College. Thank you, Chancellor, board members, President Sperling, for all your time and for having us here this evening. Just, just one moment. Please. Yes. Could we shut the timer off? This is not a uh, public comment. Uh, first, I'd like to make a brief statement about our program, the theater program. Whether it be television, film, theater, or even video games, the stories that emerge in these various art forms reflect and often become the narrative by which we shape our values and our society. Additionally, the professional world of these mediums is filled with people who started out as theater majors. Writers, directors, designers, actors, agents, publicists. Many got their start in a theater class in college. Because of this, it is vital that all members of society have access to the skills and tools necessary for helping shape those narratives and participating in those professions. It is for these reasons that our theater faculty work hard to achieve the intention of making theater for and available to everyone. With me today are some of our students who are currently in rehearsal for a play called Cheer, Story of a Dreamer, an original play written and directed by theater faculty member Linda Alonzon. The play centers on Erica, a local Latina high school senior who discovers she is undocumented while applying for college. Starting on a light note, capturing the fun and ease of being a popular kid in school with a boisterous group of cheerleaders serving as a kind of Greek chorus, the story quickly gets more serious as Erica discovers the truth about her status. Now here to perform the opening moments of this new play, the cast of Cheer. Cheer, 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 cheer. Wait a minute. Shouldn't we just say African American president? 
Oh, yes, we right. should. Sorry. Ready? Okay. okay. It's 2013, the Obama years. We have an African American president, so everybody cheer. Cheer, 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 cheer. I don't want to start anything, but my family did not vote for Barack Hussein Obama. What? what? Neither did mine. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, yeah, God. God. Oh, 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 God. Oh my god, you're like 